Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be covering Golden Scarabs, a very, very in-depth guide on what you need to know, where to farm, how often the respawns are, what you should be doing to avoid the acid, all of these things. And it's not going to be as obvious as just get shit and armor, get the, you know, the gem slotted in your gear. There's ways to avoid it without being that in detailed or in-depth with this, so we're going to kind of deep dive into it. But before we do so, I think you guys should start with this clip first. So Sniffy Joe is a guy that came back to the company, or came back Back to the game I should say just recently recently I'm talking like one or two days ago did the brimstone sands quest came out here to do this golden scarab hunt with us we all at this point have had very very low luck on the golden scarabs I have zero another guy in our group has zero and then good guy has three but he got insanely lucky just doing random stuff we didn't know exactly what gave us the golden scarabs and the best you know kind of routes to take but now we do and it's because of the luck that sniffy joe got here back to back golden scarabs just listen to this and then watch Watch how this all plays out. And by the way, when you're watching this, you're going to see me utilize the ice gauntlet to avoid the acid burn, which is very, very nice, the entomb. And then also you can use the regeneration potion if you have the putrefying perk on your jewelry or earring, I believe it is. So we'll show you guys that here in just a second as well. <laughs> okay, you didn't get one. No, I did. I forgot. I what do you forgot mean you got one? Stuff. You actually got one? Uh, hit, yeah, how do you link stuff? Hit tab and then sh uh, alt left click it. Wow. Wow. Um, That's disgusting. Sniffy wins once again. Sniffy <laughs> wins. That's like 10k right now, but you can also hang on to it. That's what we're literally hunting right now. <laughs> is those? So the fact that you got on the first one, well, I'd yeah, say we're in the right I place. Any, I don't have any luck here on either, so like zero. It's ridiculous. Don't climb up on this thing. I think right here. Right? Supposedly you can only open these once a day now. They used to be one one per hour, or every hour. Oh. But, uh, this is stuff we probably won't do as, like, a big zerg anyway, so might as well take advantage of it. I got another one. The oh. fuck? No, you did not, oh, Sniffy. Oh, I, oh, I just got one. I just got another one. Yeah, I got one. You actually? Oh, wow. Oh. That just... It's hundred to zero me. I don't know. I'm out uh, here, too. Wait, so, Sniffy, you did not get back-to-back -back golden scarabs. I, I can't... Really it, comprehend it, it, that idea of that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's bugged. Yeah, maybe your butt. Maybe every single oh, chest you shit. open, it's gonna be a golden scarab. Could you imagine? So it wasn't every single chest of his that was dropping golden scarabs. It was specific chests. He went on to get three golden scarabs within probably our first ten minutes of farming. Understand that golden scarabs right now across the board are pretty much on average eight to twelve k for every server. So he just got 30k worth of gold or loot within 10 minutes. So this is one of the routes, one of the many routes that you need to be taking when it comes to be hunting these golden scarabs. So I'm going to give you guys some tips, some tricks, and like I said, the routes right now. So if we jump out of that YouTube video, bring up newworld-map.com, you can see all of the different loot here. Uh, so what I would do, by the way, if you are trying to set this up for yourself, go to hide all, go to cities and other, make sure you have spirit shrine turned on, and then, what is the other one we want turned on? I believe we have areas turned on. If we go to areas, no, not areas. It's actually points of interest. We have brimstone sands have the point of interest brimstone sands turned on so we can see kind of the locations a little bit easier. But you can see that we also, in chests, have brimstone checkmarked. This is glyph chests, grave offerings, and ancient offerings. So each one of these is different when it comes to the percent chance you have at a golden scarab. So we're going to kind of give you the rundown on what you should be doing for the highest percent chance every day, going from a 7% chance all the way down to a 2%. So the first thing you would think is, well, these glyph chests are very, very cool. You know, they're huge chests. You have to do the glyphs beforehand to actually get them unlocked. So I would assume that these are the 7%ers. you You'd be wrong. This is not where you're going to be able to get the most of your golden scarab drops. It's going to be much more like these acid pull areas. These are going to be called sulfur chests. Sulfur chests are going to be the best for golden scarabs for many different reasons. So not only are you going to have to be careful about the acid, but these are going to drop a 7% chance without luck, a golden scarab, and with max luck, a 7.41% chance. So you don't even have to take luck to really have a good shot at these. Also, when we talk about these big, big chests, these aren't even the ones that are giving you a 4% chance. These are the ones giving you a 2% chance. These are the glyph locked chests giving you a 2% chance without luck. And then with max luck, it's a 2.12% chance. 
So now we have sulfur chests at 7% and 7.41%, which are much, much higher. So when it comes down to hunting these golden scarabs every day, if you're going to just be on for an hour, these are the most important things to do right now is make these runs happen. Sulfur chests, here's the first two right here. These grave offerings are going to be in this nice little, uh, well, acid ground, really. So you're going to want to go to the spirit shrine, run straight over here to this area, take these, th I think it's about two or three of them, Make sure to get those all opened and looted up. Then you go to the right side. Obviously, more of them to be had here. We have about four or five, six, seven, seven in this area. So we have now 10 total. And we go over to the right side. You see even more. This is where you're going to see four more of these. So now we're looking at not just, you know, seven. We're looking at 11. Or sorry, actually, I think we were at 10. So now we're seeing 14 total sulfur chests. With each one being about a 7% chance, you're having some very good odds at least getting one a day, which is 10,000 gold. And by the way, I almost missed this one up here. Three more to be had up here, so that's going to be 17. So typically, the route you're going to want to take is to actually start at this top left spot, go to this spirit shrine here. From there, you get those three chests. You go down to this new spirit shrine here. You might as well, by the way, when you're down here, get this glyph chest and this grave offerings. By the way, these grave offerings do not have a chance of dropping a single golden scare but these glyphs have a two percent chance so from there you're going to run over here you're going to loot these three right here and then you're going to run up a little bit farther or probably recall and go to this shrine you're going to take these right here so i think like i said i think there's seven in this big group or big cluster so definitely take advantage of those from there the last spot is going to be in this right side or this east side it's going to be these last four these have a 24 hour cooldown a lot of people believed that these had a one hour cooldown and they did but the PTR patched that, just like they patched the drop rate. The drop rate is much, much lower than it once was in the PTR. So very, very cool to see that this route is going to be the strongest. So what does that mean for us? And if you haven't done this before, what do you need to be kind of scared about or worried about? Well, the only thing really is, is we like to be PvP geared on, or not really PvP geared on, but PvP flagged just so that we have that bonus luck, right? We want to have the highest chance possible. I know the luck chance barely goes up. You know, like I said, Sulfur is going to be 7% to 7.41% with max luck. Elite from 4% to 4.24% with max luck. And then Glyph Lock Chest from 2% to 2.12% with max luck. So the max luck thing is not going to be a huge deal for most of us, but it is going to help a little bit. So might as well PvP flag if you're not too worried about it. So the Sulfur Chest route is done. After that, if you still have more time, go for these elite chests. The elite chests are going to be in zones like this. You can see here the Castrum Principium. This is all four percenters. These are elite grave offering chests here. When you go into these places, you're going to have a 4% chance from each chest. And with max luck, a 4.24% chance. There's not too many of these because they have to be, like I said, in elite zones, elite areas. So if you look around, there's not that many elite zones that have these chests. So even if you go to Heliopolis, you're going to see pretty much just glyph lock, lock chests. So Heliopolis is actually not that great when it comes to getting gold scarabs. If we take a look over here, same case with the beds of Tabajet. So you're going to want to actually take a look over here and see that it's the same really kind of call here with the east wall and the west wall. The wall in general just having glyph chests yet again. Glyph chests, by the way, have great loot altogether. But when it comes to looking for loot that is going to give you the highest chance at, uh, you know, at these golden scarabs, which are selling for 10K, you got to take advantage of spaces like this, where you're going to see this one is one sulfur chest I missed. You're going to want to take that top spirit shrine, grab this glyph chest for a 2% chance, come over here for this grave offering for that high 7% chance. So now that we kind of talked about the elite spots, by the way, there's not very many, many of those elite chests that are, like I said, in those elite zones. Here's one that we talked about earlier, the Castrum Principium, a pretty good spot to go farm as it gives you a bunch of 4% chances. But Glyph Lock chests are next in line at 2%, right? So this drop is so limited that it's so important that you take advantage of these sulfur runs every single day. So in the Heliopolis, you're going to see a ton of these Glyph chests, 2% chanters or sorry, 2% chancers there, as well as, like I said, this elite zone over on the right side, which is going to be the beds of Tejibet. And then the west wall is going to be a great spot as well. It's going to have a lot of glyph chests over there too. So very, very cool. If you guys want to, by the way, let me know about any ways you found the, uh, really the golden scarab that didn't involve the specific ways I'm talking about. Let me know, because I want to make sure this information is accurate. But I did talk to 
uh, a couple different people, thanks to Head, or sorry, Five Head Survival Gaming and New World Database for a little bit of this information as well. But there's a lot of different routes to take when it comes to doing some of these glyph chest runs. But the obvious one, like I said, that is very, very important every day. I've said it many times, but I'll say it again because you can make up to 10 to 20K to even 30K like you saw Sniffy Joe make in the matter of 10 minutes. I made, or I got two uh, Golden Scarabs during my run this morning. And what is it? You know, basically 20 chests almost to open up 7% chance apiece. I got two of them, which isn't too far off from, you know, the average. And I sold those right away for about 18 to 19K. I want to continue to sell everything with this server, kind of, or not server, but this zone being very, very fresh and new. Everything's selling for very, very high prices. I think, you know, supply is going to continue to go up. And with that, you know, demand, even if it stays the same, we're going to see more prices drop. So I'm taking full advantage right now, and I want you guys to as well. If you guys have any questions about this, definitely let me know in the comments below. So this is the rundown. Sulfur is a 7% chance, 7.41% with luck. Elite, 4% chance. 4.24% chance with luck. Glyph lock chest, 2% chance, 2.12% chance with luck. So if you're curious about this, definitely use this map on newworld-map.com. It's going to be the best place to actually look at all the different chests, where to go, and how you can actually continue to thrive off buying, or not buying, sorry, finding and selling these golden scarabs or even using them to craft some of the best armor in the game. I'm very, very excited about this because, like I said, two golden scarabs finally day three in. It's just a matter of time before you guys get lucky enough with 7% chance boxes like this pretty much everywhere around the map when it comes to the Brimstone Sand. So very, very cool stuff. Just want to make sure you guys knew about it. By the way, if you do want some tips on not dying in this acid, it's very, very dangerous acid. If you don't want to do the Chitin armor because of how expensive it is or uh, you just don't want to even mess with it, that's perfectly fine. You can also slot gems that give you the percent uh, or basically resistance to that acid, which is very nice as well. But if you don't want to do that as well, that's no problem. Because guess what I do? I told you before in the beginning of the video, I use Entomb on the Ice Gauntlet, which basically removes the acid burn as soon as it starts. And then we also have the Purifying Toast, which basically removes the acid burn with Regen Potions. So instead of using a Tier 5 Regen Potion, start using those common Regen Potions that we all have been dropping for many, many days. I mean... I, I'm not going to lie, I've been dropping that since day one when we got those common regen potions out of some of those chest runs back in Merc Guard and stuff in the past. I've been dropping those. They don't sell for anything on the market. It might be time to start buying some of those up. Those regen potions work really, really well for the Purifying Toast perk. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Hopefully this helped you guys just a little bit understand how easy it is to get Golden Scarabs if you do these runs every single day. The biggest one, solve for chest, do it every day make a lot of money. Like I said, 30K, 10 minutes. It's that easy. Thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next one.